Zap. I leveled up to level two. So now I have more hit points, more mana, better at combat. Oh, Nidalee's eating the goblin corpse. Kill the newt. Oh, actually, he dropped a helmet. I didn't realize that. A helmet and a dagger, which I'll pick them both up. And I don't want to put on this helmet because it's actually going to screw up my spell casting, I believe. But also uh, because I don't know if it's cursed yet. Found a scroll of enchant armor. Really nice. Again, I know what that one is because I already have that scroll. Oh, I'm starting to get hungry. There we go. So I'm going to want to eat something. I will eat uh, one of the lichen corpses. Nom, 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 nom. Tastes terrible, but it feeds you. It's not poisonous. It's not rotten. That's what's important. What do we got here? We have a tin. I don't know what's in the tin, but that's some more food. That won't go bad. Found a murky potion. I don't know what the potion is. Only that it's murky. And that will change every game, right? You can't be like, oh, I finally discovered that a murky potion is a healing potion. Uh, so, you know, the next time you play, you find a murky potion, you drink it, and then it turns out it's like poison or something. Uh, so, it's always different. It's always random. There are tricks you can use in game to try to discover what these various things are. Um, and there's a few spoilers. Like, there's some things that are consistent. What is this? Is that a grid bug? Yeah, just a generic low-level enemy. I guess I'll zap him. Just practice my spell casting. Door is locked. Let's kick the door. No locked door can hurt me, can hold me back. Hmm... Okay. I haven't found the shop yet. There's only so many places it can be. It might be here. Nope. Stairs down or here. Where is the shop? Oh, there's a few unexplored places. Alright, I'm hungry. Again. Those lichens don't hold you very long. I uh, may as well eat the other one now. Casting spells actually increases the rate for your hunger. I forgot about that, so I guess I should melee more. Where's... Oh, there he is. Goblin throwing a dagger at me. Where'd that dagger go? There it is. Pick that up. Another secret door. Another goblin. I'm going to eat his corpse. Nom, 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 nom. So, yeah. <laughs> so, the first thing that tends to kill you in this game is starvation. The second thing that tends to kill you in this game is eating something that's poisonous. So, you do have to, at some point, start to learn what is poisonous and what is not. I still haven't found the shop. I'm thinking maybe here or here. So, there might be another secret door. One, two, Hear someone counting money. Yes, there's definitely a shop. Okay, uh, let's try. Oh, giant rats. Kill them, level three. Kill another one. May as well eat the giant rat corpse. Ooh, it was rotten. I'm lightheaded and confused, so I'm actually going to stay where I am because I. Well, now that my cat moved away, I'll move a little bit. Because I don't want to accidentally stumble in the wrong direction and kill my cat. Or attack my cat. He'll probably kill me. She. One, two, three, four, okay, five, I don't know where the shop is. Seven, hmm. <laughs> Killed an acid blob without thinking about it. Kill the red mole here. Who attacks me with, like, heat damage. Oh, actually doing a lot of damage, so let me just zap him from afar. I don't think you want to eat the red mold corpse. One way to know is you can start paying attention to the sort of thing your pet eats. Now, my cat may only eat meat, I'm not sure, but that will be a good hint in terms of uh, 
what not to eat. What is... Oh, that's just a corpse I can see. Right. Nearly is going to kill the giant rat. There we go. Um, yeah, okay, well, I'm not going to... There's nothing here, huh? Hmm. I guess I'm not going to stress too long about finding that shop. I would really like to find it, though. And I'm hungry again. God damn it. I'll have to eat some proper food soon. i am just pathfind my way over to the stairs. Oh, I passed out from lack of food. Okay. Definitely, definitely time to eat. We'll eat our food ration. Which should provide a lot of nutrition. Oops, where's Nidalee? Nidalee! There you are. Come on, stand next to me. There we go. The, the, your pets will only follow you up or down stairs if they're literally right next to the square. Ah, a little bit of beer. Check the back walls here. I feel tough. I must be leading a healthy lifestyle. Well, despite the fact that I'm fainting with hunger from time to time. Nidalee's fighting something back there. Mm -mm. We got a water fountain. There's a few things you can do at fountains. You can drink from them. You can dip objects in them. And there's a variety of reasons you might want to do that. Hey, here's a shop. I wonder if the counting money is always on the same floor. No, it must be. Hello, ye old shopkeeper. So he sells armor. He's got a variety of goods. There's actually some food here, and I'm betting it's not even real food. It's probably a mimic. Leather armor. It's not even identifying it when I put it over. That's interesting. Mimic or strange object. That's that's odd. I don't know why it would identify it more explicitly here. So, the way the shops work is you can uh, you can pick up anything. And then to be able to leave the shop, you have to hit the P key, and then you can pay him. I've got 311 gold, so I can definitely look around at stuff and see what I might be interested in purchasing. But, of course, as I've said before, there's a limited amount of stuff you can really buy as a wizard um, that you can really use. And the problem is none of this is identified. Like, I know, I know this is leather armor, but it could be cursed, blessed, it could be a plus 5 leather armor, or it could be a minus 5 leather armor. I don't know. I would like some boots, but I don't think I'm actually going to buy anything now. This is where Nidalee comes in. Come here, Nidalee. Oh, i, I got to feed her to get her... Uh... Shoot. I don't have anything I can feed her with. I can throw a ration at her, but I don't really want to lose it. There you go. You go in the shop, because your cat will randomly pick up things and bring it in your direction. Come on, drop it. Drop the shoes. She dropped it back inside the shop. There you go. Pick up the cloak. Bring it out here. Drop it out, out here. Where'd you drop it? You dropped it inside. God. Because this square right in front of the door is not considered part of the shop. So if the cat drops it there, that's okay. Picks up a robe. Bring it this way. Yes, drop it right there. Come on. I'm going to starve to death before you bring me anything. If I had some food, it might help to bring up her loyalty a little bit more. I don't know. I don't know if we're going to get anything out of this. Drop the robe there. Drop it in front of me. Moves only reluctantly. There's something cursed over there that Nidalee was just forced to walk over. Okay, fuck this. I'm not waiting around for you forever. If it was a different kind of shop, I might be more patient. Actually, I would probably buy stuff, first of all. Push the boulder a little bit. Hopefully we get our strength up at some point. Is there a secret door here? Yep. Another scroll of enchant armor. Awesome. Found our first chest. Can we loot it? Hmm, appears to be locked. Nothing to do but to try to kick the lock open. Ooh, here, muffled shatter, so we probably just broke a potion. 
Oh, let Nidalee get out of the way. I don't want to kick her accidentally. Ah, oh, God, I'm so weak. There we go. Finally broke the lock. Loot, yes. Take everything out. We've got oh, quite a bit, actually. Some gems, a tripe ration. Some money. Cool. Actually, the tripe ration, we can throw that at Nidalee. She eats it. Animals love tripe. Tripe is like garbage food. It's like the leftover from when you butcher stuff, basically, without getting into any specifics. Um, and it raises the loyalty of pets. You see she sticks right by me now, and I bet you she'd be better at stealing. Assuming I don't leave her behind. Come on, Nidalee, where are you? There you are. Come here. No, don't attack. Move out of my way. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, there we go. Eight. Oh! God damn it, she dropped the shield in front. I should have just displaced her. Because she dropped it there and then. Drop it. Drop it. There we go. No! Don't pick it up again. God damn. Fuck these animals sometimes. Bring the height. Bring something to me. Yes. Move. Robe. We're going to pick that up. And it doesn't even count as stealing. The shopkeeper does not recognize that as theft. Now, if you tried to walk out of there with that, or if you use like a wall or dig, a wand of digging or uh, a, uh, a pickaxe to break through the wall, or if you tried to attack him, man, you would suffer for it. Shopkeepers are hardcore. Plus, they often call guards. Oh, something to kill back here. Fox. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. I'm good enough. I got a robe. That's actually useful for me. Oh, I'm going to eat this newt. Feel a mild buzz. Okay. And where to now? You know, there's probably secret doors all over here. Hmm, maybe not. I begin to feel hungry, but I just ate a newt. Man. I'm going to go a little longer, see if I can kill something else and eat it. So I'm being way too slow, all this, like, shopping stuff.